Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another shave video. Um, real quick, uh, today, well first I want to go ahead and get a shout out out of the way. Um, shout out to one of my newest subscribers, Ken Surfs. Um, I've been a big fan of his for a while and I was rather excited when I saw that he subscribed to my channel. Um, not saying that I don't get excited when I get a subscription by anyone else because I truly appreciate all the subscriptions, um, the comments, the likes, all that. I'm up to 19 subscribers. Um, and it just, I'm really, really happy about that. Anyways, today is going to be a bit of a special shave because I'm going to be using some of my favorite products, but I'm going to be using one thing that you cannot get here in the States. That is at least you cannot get it from a US vendor. You used to be able to, now you can't. It is something that I went ahead and got from Nick Searle's, Searle, Searle Shaves. Um, it was his 250 subscriber giveaway. Um, and he ended up going ahead and sending a soap, shaving soap. I was giving away a limited edition shaving soap the, and the matching body bar. Well, when I opened up the package, there was the soap, the matching body bar, and a sample of, sample bar of soap, uh, body soap. Anyways, so let's take a look real quick at the sample or the soaps. The sample is this little fellow. Not a bad size sample. Uh, smells wonderful. This is their Magnum soap. Um, it is, by the way, in case you don't know, it is Wickham. Um, it is, it's very manly scent. Um, I really, really want the, the matching shape soap to this. In fact, I'd love to get a full set of the shave soap, the body bar, and the matching aftershave. Um, so, hey, I'm gonna have to make an international order, but the soap is just that damn good. And I got a pardon the noise. A full size bar. As you can see, I've used it a couple of times. I've used the Magnum once. This soap smells really really good and the cool thing about it I mean it's just me but here on the side it's not flat and even like the store-bought stuff is and I really like that. These body soaps leave me feeling clean and fresh. I don't have that film on my body that I normally have when I use a regular bar so um, not all bars of soap, not all commercial bars of soap do that to me, but most of them do. Um, and that one, the big one was matching body bar. And the soap is Wickham 1812 Blah Blah. This is a vegan soap. Oh, the smell, the scent. Oh, the scent is just great. It's got a slightly perfer perfumey scent, but the name sounds French, so that's not to be unexpected. It's just a really, really good scent itself. And I have to admit, when I used this soap for the first time, I thought it was tallow base. So I really did think it was tallow. Um, it just performed that good the lather was just that creamy and rich it was just um and i'm not saying that 
Palo is superior to a vegan soap. I mean, uh, Katie's Bubbles. Vegan soap, one of my favorite soaps. I absolutely love Katie's Bubbles. Um, I only got one Katie's Bubbles soap, but just the use of that one soap, I went ahead and it was like I knew that that Katie's Bubbles was a top shelf soap. So, this soap quickly earned top shelf status. Anyways, so that's the soap we're going to be using. The razor is a razor that you cannot get anymore. And it is this Colonial Razors, the general black anodized aluminum razor. Um, this was my very first Artist Club razor. Um, I have six single edges. I had already had six single edges when I got this. One, two of which were gems, two of which were ever readies, and the other two were Schick injectors. One was Type G, and the other was a Hydro Magic. So, I mean, I love using those razors, but the Artist Club razors just pardon for reaching guys just the artist club razors i just absolutely love the way the artist club blades shave anyways the blade in that razor is the kai original on its this will be its second shave the brush is one you all seen already on my gratitude shade, this is the Whipped Dog Tall Amber Handle with a 24 millimeter high mountain white nut. So, that's what I'm going to be using today. So, let's go ahead and let's get this shade going. I haven't bloomed, don't need to, don't see no need to. Yeah, I saw Ken Surf's video where he was saying he was trying to get them up, you know, trying to get the time on them up because people was like, hey, Ken, make your videos longer. And, <laughs> you know, the ironic thing is, or the funny thing is, I thought it was funny, he's trying to make his videos longer. I'm trying to make mine a little shorter. Um, Let me go ahead and add a little water. Get a little water in the palm of my hand. And this, this looks really, really easy. Since I'm a head shaver as well as a face shaver, I like a heavy load in my in my brush. Yeah, yeah, right there. That is a load of soap, guys. Anyways, let me wet my face. All right. Hang on. Get some of this soapy goodness off the top of the puck. Yep, there we go. So anyways, how have all of you been doing? I know it's been a bit since I last saw you all, um, you know, with that shaving bag video, but since then we've just, um, my son, shortly after that trip to Riverside, my son, he came down with a 103 degree temperature. We had to stick him in a lukewarm bath um, to get its temperature down, uh, then our car on the way back from Riverside, it went ahead and the temperature gauge hit the red line. We pulled the car over and it stayed in the red. We was in, you know, kind of stop and go traffic. Uh, so as soon as we could, we pulled over, we popped the hood, 
and the water was just absolutely boiling out of the radiate out of the um, overflow and we called triple a um because my girlfriend's dad he has triple a and he put her on it so and the plan he has gives like a hang on let me get my lip no that's some thick creamy lather right there guys I mean, this is, I mean, this is some thick stuff. Um, yeah, I love this. I love this lather. But um, really easy to work up. Really easy to load your brush. I mean, it just, it's, it's a great soap. Oops. But, uh. Like I was saying, we got triple, you know, her dad, you know, make sure that we had, you know, put her on triple A and, um, you know, so we would, was going to have a 230 mile tow, which was like 150 something miles from home. So, and it cooled down and we, you know, the temperature dropped back down. We thought, okay, let's go ahead and let's see. And we made it home and after, ever since that, it was heating up, so... We ended up her dad co-signed for us to get a new car. Hang on guys, I got a bad itch on my toe. So, you know, we ended up getting, um, and he's gonna help us with the payments, first pass with the growth. Um, help us with the payments till she can go ahead and get, get working again and uh, yeah, these artist club blades, they just really go through the growth like nothing. And they last a good long while, too. Um, I lose count of how many shades I get off each AC blade, actually. Um, but, you know, he helped us with the... Um, we actually are releasing our vehicle um, because of, you know, thing and we're gonna refinance it through a bank when the lease comes due. And uh, so we're getting pretty good deals on it, and we got some killer discounts too. Uh, so much off and everything, and it's a Kia Sedona LX. I mean. That thing is just loaded for bear. Um, mm, get top lip. The 2017 Kia Sedona ended up earning the JP, or whatever it is, Power Award. That one that looks at cars, and it went ahead and it earned high marks in safety. And this thing, it's got backup camera. Um, you can, it's got separate temperature controls for the front and the back. Um, really, really roomy vehicle. So that was the first pass. Instead of rinsing off between passes, I'm just going to dampen my face a little bit. And apply my lather and uh but i mean it's it's an awesome van so i'm gonna go ahead and do a kind of a you know i'm gonna do a video where i show you all the van i mean it's 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 an awesome car or it's an awesome vehicle i mean things got four wheel all the way around it's got you know four wheel disc brakes um I reached in, and it's got really nice rims. You know, they come standard with, they, they include locking lug nuts, which was beautiful touch. Oh. The speedometer reads one freaking 60 miles per hour. Uh, a minivan doing 160, I mean, that's, 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 that's something. 
But, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I'll go ahead and do a video and show you all the van and, you know, but y'all check it out. It's, and it's awesome. It seats eight, but the center, the cool thing is the center thing, because I got a guide dog and we prefer having them on the floorboard instead of sitting on the back seat. So, you know, you can take the center seat, the center section of the middle row out, and then you go ahead and you got yourself um, two seats instead of three. So right now it hauls seven. And it's just gonna go across the growth, but go up here upwards on my neck. So it's just an awesome van, so. I'll share it. I'll, I'll, I'll do a video where I show it all to you. Anyways, on to the on to the soap. The soap is performing absolutely beautifully. Um, couldn't be happy. Could not be happier with the soap. Um, so me and my friend Christian out in Victorville, we're thinking about throwing some money together and making a. Um, and order directly from Wickham Soap Co. Which I will go ahead because of Nick, thanks to Nick, he ended up giving me the link to their site. So I'll go ahead and I'll include that. Oh man, I'm going up. Oh. Huh. Heck with it. You know, it's my shave. I'm going to do a third pass, but it's going to be across the grain. Let's see, real quick. So, we'll go up the grain. Got talking. But yeah, it's on. Um, Real good soap in this general. I wanted to get the brass version. I really, really did. Um, but they discontinued it on Colonial Razors. So, yeah. Um, that kind of sucks, but you know, hey, I got I got the aluminum. I'm good there. I'm looking forward to when they drop when their when their double edge drops, which is going to be any time now, I think. And uh, check that one out. It's going to be a three piece, from what I understand, all aluminum. So, and I guess they're going to stick for a while with the aluminum. So. We'll see. Um, yes, yeah, this, this brush, I absolutely love this, this high out my brush. Um, I don't have a silver tip yet. So, that's my next next step is to get a silver tip. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be a flipping uh, Simpson or Salvaro silver tip. I would love to get the silver the the Salvaro thirty eight twenty four, but yeah, you know, what the heck, you know, I might get Aaron. Um, Aaron up over there at Frugal Shade and see about him just making me, you know, one and, and getting the, maybe the 34, well, I was thinking maybe going ahead and getting both the 24 and the 30 millimeter AP Shade Co. Tuxedo Knots. So I might hit Aaron up with an ideal for handles going across the gray. And, uh, See about him doing me the 24 mil 
and 30 mil AP shade coat tuxedos. And then, you know, from there maybe do a silver tip. Oh yeah, that's gonna be smooth right there, folks. This little spot, right there and right there. I mean, because usually silver tip brushes just don't fall out of the sky. So, or growing trees, I wish they did. But, you know, they just don't. So, go across and right this way. Yeah, if you're looking for a mild single edge. Oh, I got myself right there. That's my fault. Not the soap, not the razor. But yeah, if you're looking for a long razor and yeah, a single edge, and you can come across one of these suckers, one of these generals in black or silver, even if you can just come across the head, because you can put any damn handle you want on this razor. But if you can find one, and you want a mild AC. Razor head. The general is definitely mild. Anyways, that's my third pass. Anyhow, um, I'm going to go ahead and check and make sure I'm centered. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rinse off real quick and then go ahead and check and see if I need to do any cleanup. Anyways, be back in a minute. All right, um, let's see here. I'm back, so let's see. Um, pretty good right there. No, pretty good. So, take my oil, which is starting to run low. A little bit of a sting. Okay, so let this set for a few. Anyways, so yeah, um, the channel it's just absolutely wonderful, wonderful single edge razor. I'm just absolutely, I was absolutely thrilled. In fact, I saw the Edmund brothers, one of the Edmund brothers, I can't remember if it was Kirk or Kyle, um, talking about it on Shade the Man or Razor and Brush. But they had mentioned it, and they, and I mean, they didn't even have the store. I mean, they didn't have the store or anything up and running. I was like, I was like, hey, um, you know, uh, what's this this razor you're talking about? This single edge razor, um, you know, where can I get it? Sounds awesome. And he was like, they respond. He he responded to me with, you know, he said, uh, it's not even in production yet. Um, we're going, we're working on trying to get a store go together, you know, basically saying they're working on trying to get a store up and running and just all this stuff. And, you know, I forget exactly what all he said, but you know, I told him I'd be watching out for it. And then I saw the Chris Bailey video where he talked about it. And my girlfriend, she took one look at that razor on the video and it was just a prototype. And she was all, you have to have this razor. So I ended up contacting Aaron when I finally went ahead and ordered, you know, when uh, they announced, you know, that they was going to be releasing batches. Um, I found out from Aaron over at Frugal Shave, I wanted his Darth Vader um, Inkwell style razor stand. But, you know, and he said, hey, find out how big the handle is so I can go ahead and, you know, make it. And I found out the size it was 14.5. 
So I told him that, and he was like, okay. And he ended up going ahead and making it to me, 10 bucks. I mean, it's a cool little stand. I really like it. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and rinse off. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my head. Then I'll be back for the post. See you then. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I went ahead, got my dome. As you can see, my face is baby butt smooth. My head, no, I can't fill in. Oh, I missed one little spot right there. Excuse me. Stoop move. Oh, well. My Nivea will take care of any little irritation that just gave me. But, yeah, I mean, if you're on the fence about an AC type single edge razor, or artist club single type right single edge razor um, <laughs> just flip and go for it um, or any single edge razor just go for it um, you know gems ever readies those are relatively affordable they're great shavers um, the general there like I said, unfortunately, Colonial Razors don't carry them anymore. But if you can find one on a BST, I mean, they're great razors. Uh, what was it? I paid 60 bucks for mine. That was brand new, so keep that in mind if it's the aluminum version. Um, but yeah, just a great razor. It's a wonderful head shaver, great face shaver, mild, hella efficient. Um, just one of my, it's one of my favorite razors, to be, to be honest, it is one of my favorites. Um, but anyways, so yeah, uh, that's, that's, that's that on that. But anyways. So, we're going to do the post, so let me reach up over here. I've already applied alum to my face, which you saw before my break. So, the cheap Dollar General Witch Hazel. I was talking to my brother and we was talking about throwing in and getting the stuff and I want to boil up some of my own Witch Hazel and, you know, add some stuff to it which I think would be just absolutely great for the skin and go ahead and get that try and see how that comes out um, all right now time for the aftershave which is a ice blue aqua velva um, I saw a video that that Warhawk, Mel and Warhawk's World did about the, um, uh, I love the scent. Um, it's old, but hey, I'm almost 50, guys. Uh, yeah, it's got some burn. About the, uh, Ice Blue Aqua Belva Aftershave Balm, five, five in one. Um, he said some great things about it. So, I want to give that a try and, you know, see how it does. I'm still looking for that, that Nivea Too Faced um, that Kevy Shaves uses. Um, I begin to think that maybe they don't sell that here in the U.S. Since I used Ice Blue, I'm going to go for the balm for... Nivea for sensitive skin cooling balm. Um, yeah, if you're new to my channel and you see me reach up for stuff sometimes, or I don't quite look at the camera the way some do, um, it's because I'm blind. So, um, been blind my whole life, so anyways, um, I 
And if you want to know more about that, you can check out my second video. Um, blindness, wet shaving, some things I've learned or done and learned along the way. And I explain more about my condition. In that video, um, it's a little long. I'm hoping it's going to be longer than this one because I'm trying to get these down to the to the 25 30 minute mark maybe as close to the 20 minute mark as possible so but you know hey if I do I do if I don't I don't what the hell it's only wet shaving Anyways, so let's take a look at what we used. The razor was Colonial Gen, the Colonial Razors General. Uh, the handle's pretty smooth on this. Um, I have no problem holding on to it. Um, usually, if I feel like it's getting a little slit or slick, I just rub my fingers with alum, um, and that that takes care of that. The blade is a Kai Original Artist Club blade. The brush was the Whipped Dog High Mountain White 24mm knot in the tall amber handle. The soap was, I don't know if I've got this straight, Straight from the UK, thanks to Nick Searles of Searles Shaves, Wickham 1812 Le Bleu Limited Edition Soap, which I also, when I won it, I also received the body bar, which I love, and the Magnum, by a sample of the Magnum body bar, which I definitely would love to have a full set of that as well. Um, I'd like to have the aftershave to this one, um, but I probably won't be able to get it. Uh, that is if they, if Wickham makes aftershaves, I don't know. But I would at least like to get the Magnum Body Bar. Um, the post shave was, uh, cold water rinse, followed by Dollar General Witch Hazel which has a bit of a funky odor, but it's gone in no time at all. The aftershave was Aqua Velva Ice Blue. Love that stuff. The aftershave balm was Nivea for Sensitive Skin Cooling. Um, so the razor performed wonderfully. The soap, the razor, the blade performed wonderfully together. The soap had absolutely everything you want. Um, slickness, cushion, glide, uh, creamy lather, loaded up, loaded easy, lathered up quickly. Um, just all around great soap. Oh, I forgot to mention. It is uh, firm, not hard, not majorly hard, but it's firm. Um, I would say that it's probably somewhere between, as far as its firmness, somewhere between, say, uh, Sterling and Bear Stern Man. Um, the scent strength is medium, a little higher maybe. Um, wonderful scent. Uh, absolutely love it. Uh, but anyways, so that is the shave. I hope you all have, have a great, great day, great evening, whatever. Um, and I will see you all on the flip side of the blade. Bye bye now.